Hey, what's up guys, Shubh from this side and today we'll be talking about a very exciting device by Xiaomi which is the cheaper version of their already flagship device, the Mi 4. Yes, I'm talking about the Mi 4i which stands for Mi for India. A pretty beast of a device for a very affordable price. Many people already guessed the launch of this phone today due to some benchmark leaks. As you may have already guessed by the title of this video, we will be talking about the goods and the bads about this device. One more thing, I'm not having the actual device because, you know, I wasn't lucky enough to go to the event. So without any further ado, let us begin with the review. Let us now begin by talking about the top plus points offered in the smartphone. Let us firstly talk about the design. The device looks very premium and comes in 5 colors namely black, white, blue, pink and yellow. Three of them have a matte finished back panel which according to the company is grease and fingerprint resistant. Also the device looks pretty slim and is of only 7.8mm. These designing features add up to the device's good point. The next very big pro point of this device is the display. The company openly compared the device 5 inch display with the iPhone 6. Of course the display is full HD. The display is super sharp with a pixel density of 441 pixels and comes with one glass solution for better touch response. One more feature that they have added to the display is the sunlight eligibility. They have manufactured a display whose pixels would brighten even mo more in sunlight to get the better viewing experience outside also. It would just increase the contrast so, yeah, so that you can get a better experience. The display is also protected by a Concord glass which is again from a product of Corning and provides durability as much as the Gorilla Glass 3. A very important point that many people consider before buying an Mi smartphone is the performance that the device offers. So Mi 4i provides a very impressive pack of specifications for a 13K device. The device packs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 CPU which is of the second generation based on 64-bit uh, and the processor is completely designed and manufactured in India only. Also, the device is packed with an octa-core CPU, 4 cores are clocked at 1.7 GHz for gaming purpose and 4 of them are clocked at 1.1 GHz for handling other simpler tasks. Also, the device comes with 2 GB RAM and the scores showed by the company in different benchmarking sections are also pretty good. The camera would also be coming under the pro points of the device. The device packs in a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera as the Redmi Note 4G. Also, more features of the rear camera are f2.0 aperture, full HD video recording, etc. Also, the device has a dual tone flash as we saw on many Apple devices. The dual tone flash promises to provide images which look pleasant to the eyes and do not appear fake. The picture quality of offered by the device looks pretty amazing. The next good point offered by Xiaomi in the smartphone is its battery. The device packs in a 3120mAh battery which is more than enough. Xiaomi also gave us a hint about the battery in this, their teasers. Coming back to the point, the battery is massive and strong and according to me, it would easily survive for about 36 hours at moderate to high usage. One more plus point in this device is the software features offered in it. The device comes with Android Lollipop out of the box which is simply amazing and of course on top is the Xiaomi's MIUI 6. The next point I would be like to talk about is the connectivity. The device has dual SIM support and on both the SIMs we have 4G support. I think that would be the first phone by Xiaomi to support dual 4G support and is pretty good. The last point I would be covering for the pros of the device is its price. Can you even imagine that this device along with these much specifications would be available offered in India for only 13,000 bucks. I mean wow, 13,000? It's definitely a steal. So these were the plus points that I noticed while taking an overview of the device. Now let us take a look at some down points that I considered while watching the live event and while going 
through the device specifications. One big disappointment I personally noticed when I saw the device firstly was the missing aluminium ring around the device body. Well, the device still looked pretty gorgeous but is little focused on the youth and not on the fully adults. You know, the aluminium ring would have added the cherry on the cake like the in that of the Mi 4. Also, two out of the five available colors, I think uh, pink and blue, are available in glossy finish. So, if you want to go with the, those two colors, you certainly do not have the option of matte finish pack. One more thing that I didn't like about this device was the battery is non-removable due to the unibody design. Well, Xiaomi is taking a step further, but tech geeks always prefer a removable battery, which is also, of course, replaceable for better flexibility. Another down point of this, the offered device is again the availability. This device is not uh, the exception from Xiaomi but every single device from Xiaomi is a big issue for availability. This device too would be sold in India via flash sales on Flipkart and a device like this would definitely wouldn't be an easy buy. A very big disappointment I found with this device is the storage. The device comes with only 16GB internal storage which isn't expandable. This point may kill the deal for gamers. After you provide such great gaming and camera specs, you simply cannot provide this less amount of space. Xiaomi should go for a 64GB option too. Xiaomi said that they have designed this device by inspirations from India. And I don't, don't think any Indian would love the only 16GB available ROM. So this is it for this overview of the pros and cons of the Xiaomi's cheaper variant of the Mi 4 the Mi 4i. Overall the device is pretty cool and registrations have already started on Flipkart for buying this device. I will definitely try my best to get a hands on on this device. Do share this video with your geeky friends and put your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned to my channel for more videos by subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.